this 2010 crap out of my face. Hi, it's me. I'm here to teach you about joints in the human body. Let's go. So you want to learn about joints. Let's start from square one. What are joints? What do they do? Joints are pretty important, you see. They will let this guy do whatever he's doing. They help me edit the video. Hi. Oh yeah, they also let you walk. They allow for movement. And they connect the bones. And guess what? There's several different types. There's fibrous joints, there's cartilaginous joints, and there's synovial joints. Now, here's my man Ryan telling you a little bit more about these joints. Figure it then. First kind of joints we'll talk about are fibrous joints. Fibrous joints are joints that are connected by dense connective tissue. There are three types of joints. The first type, cosmosis. Second type, syndesmosis. And the third type, sutures. One example of gomphosis would be the joints that connect our teeth to their sockets. This helps give them suspension so they don't break when we bite down. For syndesmosis, one example would be our radius and our ulna. This joint helps keep them together and prevent them from separating. And lastly, we have sutures, which are in our skull and help keep it together to protect the brain. The next classification of joints are cartilaginous joints. Like the name, they're connected by cartilage. These joints allow for more motion than fibrous joints, but still not full range of motion. The two main types of cartilaginous joints are synchondroses and symphysis. Synchondroses joints are connected by hanging cartilage, while symphysis joints are, have a bone covered in cartilage, but the actual connection is made by fibrocartilage. One example of synchondroses is your first sternocostal joint. This joint is located in between your rib cage and your sternum and allows your rib cage to expand while you breathe. You can find symphysis in your intervertebral joint, which is located in between your vertebrae and acts as a shock cushion for your spine. The last type of joints we'll talk about are synovial joints. These joints connect either bone or cartilage through a fibrous joint capsule. There are six types of joints, those being hinge, saddle, planar, pivot, condyloid, and ball and socket joints. Hinge joints, like the door, move 180 degrees. One example of this would be your elbow. Saddle joints connect two concave and convex bones, which allow for movement, but not as much movement as a ball and socket joint. And one example would be your thumb. The planar joint consists of two articulating surfaces that allow for gliding movement. One example of this would be your acromioclavicular joint, where your collarbone glides along your shoulder blade. Pivot joints allow for bones to rotate on an axis, and one example of this would be your first and second vertebrae that allow your neck to move. Condyloid joints consist of two oval-shaped bones that connect and allow for bending and extension. You can find a condyloid joint in your wrist. Lastly, we have ball and socket joints. These consist of a circular bone in a ball socket, and two examples would be your shoulders and your hips. Back to you, Ethan. You ever had joint pain? No? Would you like to? Yeah, me neither. But seriously though, if something exists in the body, there's gonna be a disease for it. And this includes joints. Osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and bursitis are just three of the many joint-related diseases that you could be unlucky enough to get. Now let's check them out. Osteoarthritis, the most common joint disease, occurs with age and is caused by repeated use of the joint or wear and tear, according to our sources. It happens due to the breakdown of cartilage, which helps cushion the joints. Osteoarthritis can result in pain, stiffness, and decreased flexibility. So yeah, it's not really that fun. And it gets even worse with rheumatoid arthritis. This is an autoimmune disease, which has immune system cells build up in the joints despite, you know, not belonging there. And it causes inflammation and destruction of bone and cartilage. Gone are the days of doing things because rheumatoid arthritis will literally eliminate the abilities of your limbs. Then there's bursitis. Bursitis is the inflammation of the bursa... bursa... Th th these things, these sacs, which help cushion the joints, tendons, bones, and muscles. It can sometimes be caused by bacterial infection. So yeah, it's not as bad as having your bones melt, but it's still pretty awful. And yeah, that's pretty much all I need to know about joints. So, uh, tune in next week when we... What? What do you mean there's not gonna be a next week? 
we're out of funding. What do you mean we're out of funding? We just got funding. And they're taking us off the air? What do you mean? What? What, what, are, they, what are they doing now? Crawl out through the fallout, baby, when they drop that bomb. Crawl out through the fallout with the greatest of... Hiya there, it's me. Can you give us a 100? That'd be really cool. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks. I'll hold you close and kiss those radiation burns away.